Every flute player who's playing today has been influenced in some way by Marcel Moïse all over the world. For me, while he is the first to have opened this door on, on the audience, on the public, on the large public, to, uh, to uh, give the opportunity to the flute to play like a solo instrument, really a solo instrument, a virtuoso instrument. I learned from him as, as an example of what a musician could be. But it's Marcel Moïse. It's one of the fantastic qualities. It's the human part of it. Human and musical, yeah, just one. He uh, loved his flute, he loved his music, but he also loved his piano and he loved his pipe. In fact, he was the only musician I know who could play the flute and smoke a pipe at the same time, and during longer rests, sip a glass of piano also. A German flutist came to see me. He said, I would like to learn the French school with you. I said, you make a mistake because in music I am international. He said, you are a communist? <laughs> my name is James Galway and this gentleman on my right is my teacher, Marcel Moyes. He was born in 1889, on the 17th of May, in a little town called saint Amour, which is in France. He spent the early years of his life at the conservatory in Paris, studying the flute, and later on he became involved in one of the most unique movements of the arts probably ever to take place. It was at a time when artists and musicians came together in Paris to create what we now consider the foundation of modern art. For example, he played the first performance of The Rite of Spring and of Daphne and Chloe, and he knew Debussy and Ravel personally. And they were all together at one place in Paris, just at the turn of the century. The first time I met Mr. Moyes was in his home, right here in Brattleboro. And I had a lesson on a, uh, the Bach Sonata in E flat. And it was something which I will really never, ever forget. It was so precise, and I realized that I was talking to someone who knew every note of this piece and someone who could show me how to express myself in a way which I never thought was possible. He showed me how to relate my music making to the mood of the music. For example, how to make happy music sound really, truly happy, and how to make sad music sound deep, moving, and thrilling. It was a really very unique experience, because this man is such a unique person, a unique teacher, and also, in my opinion, one of the world's greatest flute players. No, I better say the world's greatest flute player. <laughs> well, <you're... laughs> Why not, indeed? I remember one time early when I was uh, around 15, my teacher in London was John Francis at the time, and he said to me, Jim, I would like to give you a record of a flute player. And he gave me a record of Marcel Moyes playing the Hungarian fantasy. And... I just thought I had never, ever heard anything like this before. And I couldn't explain what it was that this man had, but I tried to imitate it, and I actually learned a whole recording by memory, just by listening to his record. Later on, I had the, the great pleasure of having a lesson on this particular piece from Mr. Moyes, and it was something which has made a very lasting impression upon me. And, uh, you know what, the thing that really shines out to me in his teaching is his dedication to the art of music 
and to flute playing and just his love of people and to really get the best out of every person he comes in contact with. This is something very, very rare. No, Kiki, I hope you see. The first time I met Mr. Moise, it was uh, probably in 1936, and uh, I already started to play the flute. And Mr. Moise was uh, uh, spending his time uh, touring, you know, like he, he did uh, since the beginning. And uh, one day he came to Marseille to play with uh, the trio, Moise. And uh, at this occasion, uh, he came to visit my father, and, and they had, he had lunch with us. And I was very excited because, uh, you know, Moise was a god for me. I didn't have any, I never had a chance to study with him, but uh, because of circumstances. But he was really the exponent of the flute, the, the, the master, and, and the first to sing like a great singer, a great violinist or cellist, you know. I think it was, it was, for me, it was really the first. And he opened the doors to a new career. It's because of him that uh, now uh, the flute is so popular and, and attracts so many people. <laughs> If you don't play this well, it's your fault. I kill you. You have everything to play well. You know, I am thinking about your teacher. My God, with somebody like you, in two years I will make a great player of you. <laughs> 